Today, it was an historic day for our nation's elected leaders as they put party differences aside to pray for our country. CBN News welcomes Senator Sam Brownback, who shares his thoughts on the lasting impact the National Day of Reconciliation may have on our country. It's called a spell book and it's it like it has a picture of Harry Potter and then you like type in stuff and it's really cool. You can just sort of like yeah, you can type in the spell and you can just what you want to do. As a book series, its success is downright supernatural, selling more than 100 million copies worldwide. As a movie, it's smashing records and captivating kids of all ages. CBN News explores the mystery behind Harry Potter mania. Today on this edition of the 700 Club. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this edition of the 700 Club. I'm Pat Robertson. Well, let's go over to Terry with the next feature on the program. Well, the new Harry Potter movie grossed nearly $200 million in the first two weeks after its release. It seems just about everyone is reading the Potter books or lining up to see the movie, but some folks don't think the young wizard is the example they'd like for their children. CBN News reporter Andrea Garrett explains why. First, it was a wildly popular book series. Now it's a blockbuster movie that's breaking records for advanced online ticket sales. With a second movie due out next year, Harry Potter revenues could top a billion dollars. The Harry Potter books took the United Kingdom and America by storm. The children's fantasy series, written by British author J.K. Rowling, tells the story of an orphaned boy who discovers he's a wizard with magical powers. Harry is invited to attend the Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, where he learns how to hone his craft with skills like broom riding, spell casting, and all about both the good and evil sides of magic. <laughs> and it's not just Harry Potter books and movies. There's also the Harry Potter merchandise, out just in time for Christmas. Supporters say Harry Potter is harmless fantasy, and like librarian Carolyn Ford, praise the books for getting kids to read. There would be very few children that would have taken a 200-page book with no pictures in it and even attempted it. <laughs> and so that's making a big difference. But Harry Potter and his creator, author J.K. Rowling, aren't without critics. Some parents don't consider Harry Potter harmless at all. The books and the movie are full of occult imagery, and some parents worry that Harry Potter legitimizes witchcraft and opens a door to the occult for impressionable youngsters. The book's U.S. publisher is the highly respected Scholastic Books, which encourages teachers to read the books out loud to their students. Parent Elizabeth Mounts objects because she finds the books dark and disturbing. Our child came home, it was being read in his class, and um, the concern we had with these books was um, the violent tones in here. There's evil, there's death, there's lack of respect for human life, uh, and there's the occult. The Potter books have been translated into 47 languages and have sold more than 100 million copies. Kids are flocking to the Potter movie in droves. But the question persists, is Harry Potter harmless fantasy? Or does it encourage children to participate in witchcraft? Andrea Garrett, CBN News. Well, joining us now to help answer some of those questions is Carol Matriciana, who is an expert on the occult. She's the creative director for Jeremiah Films and has produced a documentary called Harry Potter Witchcraft Repackaged. Carol, it's a pleasure to have you here with Thank us you. on the Sunday Club today. Thank you so much. Kate. You know, there are a lot of people out there right now who are saying, oh, here go those Christians again. <laughs> yep. They're on another soapbox. Why should Christian parents be concerned about a, a film that's being sort of touted as harmless? Well, first of all, let's see what Warner Brothers says about the film. Warner Brothers says that it's an accurate portrayal of witchcraft. So here we have witches across the nation endorsing Harry Potter, saying that more than any other time that Harry Potter has initiated such response to witchcraft that witches now have schools of witchcraft on the internet where children can come be graduated into, get certificates of graduation to become witches. And of course, the books have been promoted by Scholastic Inc., who have been the providers of curriculum for 80 years in public schools. So here, where religion, where Christianity has been taken out of the schools, or all religion indeed, here we have a wizard, Harry Potter, a witch, who goes to school with 350 other students to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, which has been repackaged as a reading incentive program 
promoted by Scholastic Inc., the publishers, in our schools, 32 million children a year are being reached by witchcraft repackaged. And J.K. Rowling herself, who is the author, says that she took more than a third of the research and the content of these so-called fantasy books from occult research. So she has drawn from history. She has drawn from mythology. She admits that she has drawn from the religions of uh, Celtic, Druidic, Satanic, Wiccan, pagan roots and written them into her fiction books for children. Now, there would be a lot of people who would say, who might not even know what the Bible has to say about any of this, who would say, but if my kids are just going to enjoy this and they're not engaging in the practice of any of this, what's the harm? Well, the harm is, first of all, that witchcraft is being normalized to our children. For the first time in the history of the world, witchcraft is being given to children in a children's format, and children are seeing other children practicing it and say it's all right. And especially if the parents are saying, well, it's okay to read about other children being involved in this religion, then children say, well, if they can be involved in it, so can I. Now, remember that the School of Witchcraft and Wizardry is actually teaching all many of the basics that are in the religion of witchcraft. The Supreme Court has given witchcraft religious status. The IRS has given it tax exemption. So this is a religion. And this religion is being promoted through a child's level through the public schools on our tax dollar and teaching the children by occultists how to do certain, um, how to mix potions, how to put emphasis on certain spells, how to twist your arm and your wrist and how to concentrate when you want things. And the powers that Harry is tapping into are the powers that children think they can have. And people will say, oh, well, you know, my child doesn't practice those things. But there is also a morality that is being taught. Harry cheats. Harry lies. Harry steals. His teachers steal. When Harry breaks the rules, the teachers don't punish him. In fact, teachers say that rules are there to be broken. So children are learning a moral worldview that is not based on biblical principles. Well, you mentioned the scholastic book endorsement of all of this. Were you surprised at that? Surprised that Scholastic has yes. brought it into the mm -hmm. schools? No, not really, because historically, Scholastic, who, who has been the providers of curriculum, have been slowly bringing in more and more Wiccan material. But now to so blatantly promote this, and the most scary thing about it is that Scholastic is attaching teaching aids to their curriculum. And the teaching aids are taking children into the internet to actual Wiccan official occult sites. So now, if a child just types in Harry Potter, they can log on to either pornography or actual Wiccan sites that proselytize the child further. In fact, if you go to very well-known big, large bookstores, just a few yards away from the display, as I did with this um, teen okay, witch kit, can we show this? The, the teen witch kit was not far from the Harry Potter display. And reading this book, there's an altar comes with it, a little pouch, a little pendant. And reading the book introduces a teenager into becoming a witch, how to say the spells, how to make her pentagram. own spells. The, there's the pentagram in there. Crystals. There's the, the crystal. <laughs> and this box actually makes into an altar so she can have her own altar in her bedroom. So here we see that Scholastic Inc., the publishers for Harry Potter are leading little children into official Wiccan sites where parents have no idea that their children are being recruited. In fact, when I was doing research for the film Harry Potter Witchcraft mm -hmm. Repackaged, I went into these different websites and got emails back from witches thanking me for my interest in witchcraft. <laughs> I want to say that there are many parents out there who are very confused and who would like more information. And we want you to know that a number of the things that, that Carol has available, uh, you can find at our website. So if you'll visit CBN.com, avail yourself of this information. Find out what's going on. Don't let your kids just be sitting ducks out there in the middle of what's happening in our society today. Take a stand. This is an hour to do that. Carol, thank you so much. Thank God you, God bless Terry. you for your work. It's thank great you. to have you here.